All right, we are live. If uh, somebody in IRC can let us know when this video starts playing for you, we'll uh, at least know what kind of lag we have today. Hello, everyone. My name is Michael Hall. I'm on the Canonical community team, and this is a weekly engineering update that we do every Wednesday at the same time, more or less, uh, where we get people from the different Ubuntu engineering teams to give a uh, update on what's been going on in their teams and uh, the rest of Ubuntu development. With me today is Bill Filler and Thomas Voss. We'll be giving uh, us an update here. We're going to go ahead and start with Bill. So, Bill, if you want to take it away. Oh, before you start, uh, if anyone has any questions, we're in uh, hash Ubuntu hyphen on hyphen air in uh, Freenode IRC. If you're watching us on UbuntuOnAir.com, you should have an embedded web chat below. If you have any questions at any time, you can ask them in the IRC. Just start it with the word question in all caps, and I'll get a nice highlight of it. Uh, that way I don't lose track. All right, Bill, go ahead and take it away. All right. So last week uh, we had a we had a sprint um, down in Orlando with, with Michael's team and the System Apps team and the SDK team um, as well as design. So we we had some great face to face time and made some excellent progress on a couple different fronts. Um, one of those being our transition to Qt 5.2, actually to to Qt 5.2.1. So uh, we did a bunch of testing on packages that were built in the staging PPA and and fixed a, quite a few crashers um, in the system apps. Um, so we landed fixes for those and um, we're in, also in the process of kind of measuring performance gain um, for Q5.2, which is supposed to be significant. Um, however, at the time, the packages that were being built were debug packages. So that was kind of slowing down some of our performance numbers. So that, that work's going to continue uh, this week um, as the new packages uh, that Q521 are, are now being built without the bug. So we're hoping for some significant performance increases there. Um, we also spent a lot of time on um, the telephony apps and specifically around conference calling and multi-party calling. So we worked closely with the design team and uh, kind of worked through the designs and and started implementing a large um, portion of, of the back end that's needed uh, to support the conference calling. So good progress was made. Um, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll have something landed in the next uh, the next few weeks that folks can use to um, to merge calls and uh, work on conference calling. The other um, pretty big piece that we've been working on that's that we were able to prototype um, is is contact syncing um, and calendar syncing via uh, Ubuntu online accounts. So uh, what happens there is you configure your Google account um, in, in the Ubuntu online accounts, and there'll be a, a, a check or a slider or a toggle button to enable contact and calendar syncing. And then we basically have a back-end um, helper that, that listens for that and uses sync evolution to actually do the syncing um, with the cloud and authenticates against the, the Google online accounts. So we have a proof of concept that that's working, and you know we're working now on kind of fully implementing that and getting it to be part of the build. So that's, uh, that's all pretty neat stuff. Um, the other piece that we made great progress on was the conversion to the Oxide um, engine um, for our web browser app. So a lot of work was done by, uh, by Chris Coulson from the uh, security team and he got hardware compositing working. Um, he showed a nice WebGL demo of um, on, on the device of a you know, composited um, video that it didn't used to play at all in the current Qt WebKit. So we're in the process now of um, trying to get enough of the functionality developed in Oxide and, and the QML layer such that we can cut over um, to it. So the main work items there are getting the OSK to kind of appear and disappear reliably 
and also to support kind of pinch to zoom and, and touch um, some of the touch enablement work um, in the browser with Oxide. So it currently comes up, it renders, you know, you can navigate between pages, but it's missing a couple of the, those key features that I just mentioned um, for us to, 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 to switch over to it. So uh, yeah, work's continuing there. And Bill, I've got a question. So um, for, for Oxide, or once Oxide is, is on mostly on feature parity, um, as I understand it, there will be a drop in replacement for Cube WebKit, right? So if developers are using Cube WebKit today, um, given your uh, the QML work that is happening, they could easily cut over. Um, is that correct, or is there any, any other magic to be done? I think that's correct. So today we abstract all that. We have an an Ubuntu web view component that the uh, app developers can use today. And mm -hmm. if they're using that, then it, it, it should be seamless. Um, we're trying to support the same API um, in the Ubuntu web view. Uh, however, people can choose to directly use the, the Qt WebKit um, API, so not the Ubuntu web view. And in that case, um, if they wanted to cut over to use Oxide, they would have to kind of move over to the to the new Ubuntu web view. Okay, thanks. That answers my question. Okay, thanks, Bill. Yeah, the video that uh, Chris showed us of uh, the WebGL running in it so smooth it was really nice to see. I'm also really yeah. looking forward to that contact and calendar sync working. I know a lot of people are also. So that that's great to hear. All right, Thomas, your turn. Yeah, sure. Um, so I guess there are, there are two big topics happening in the mirror world um, right now. The one is um, performance improvement there. So a huge a bunch of performance improvements has been landing with um, um, the mirror release 0 0.1.4, um, which is now in the image. Um, those were small little tweaks here and there. Um, but the really big things are, are still lined up, and uh, the really big improvements are yet to come. So um, for that purpose, and to, to get the goodness into the image step by step, um, 0 0.1.5 um, of Mirror has been tagged and proposed for, for image inclusion. So under the assumption that everything goes well, um, this will hit, um, hit the archive pretty soon. Um, obviously. Um, um, always, always up to QA to to make sure that everything uh, uh, everything integrates well together, and that um, all of our tests pass on, on the final image. Um, I think the most notable thing to point out for 0.1.5 is performance improvements for Nexus 7. Um, at the same time, um, uh, a huge part of the team is working on uh, hardware or further hardware compository enabled. So. Um, on on the um, on the mobile devices, um, the Android driver model offers something that, um, to to leverage uh, splitting hardware of, of the underlying GPUs to um, to improve pixel push and to improve pixel push performance. Um, we partly use that today in the images, but we could make better use of it specifically for the shell. So um, things like the the indicators could be put to a completely different hardware compositor layer, and a rendering of the overall shell could be, or of the overall system, with an app running and at the same time, um, the performance could be significant, significantly improved with that. So um, there are branches in in flight right now. Um, there's a demo with with two surfaces being composited, and that work is still ongoing. So. Um, yeah, if people are interested, uh, feel free to ping um, to ping Kate up on hash uh, Ubuntu minus Mir on Freenode, and um, I guess he's happy to explain any any further details there. Um, the other big chunk of work that the team is tackling is uh, is happening in the input stack. So um, we are leveraging, or Mir right now uses um, the Android input stack, and um, with our, our work for Unity 8 preview session for 14.04, um, we, we have to make a device configuration or input device configuration and recognition work solid. Um, the usual way to do that is UDEV. Um, and, or let's say 
the Android input stack, the vanilla version that we pulled in um, some time ago, uh, did not feature that, and uh, we are adding adding UDEV support, and specifically um, UDEV mock support um, to make sure that we, we can we can easily test in isolation if the devi input device um, configuration and recognition is working flawless. Um, so let me take a look at my list. Um, there's one open bug for screencasting. So screencasting is one of the most most asked for features at this point, so both from QA and from people working with the phone. Um, and the team is busy, uh, busy providing that to people. Um, the functionality, in theory, is there. However, there is a bug hitting us on, on Android um, where um, doing a GRU pixels uh, results in a crash. The team is investigating, and I guess it's best. So if people are interested in uh, in updates on, on the bug status, they should uh, subscribe to, to the Launchpad bug or just drop into Hashib onto Mir and, um, and just ping. I guess um, the best person is uh, is Alf, so Alexander Francis, um, and ask for details. Um, one other thing I would like to point out is um, is the ongoing work for uh, for application embedding, where application embedding um, means that for our trusted helper model and our security model, we need a way for trusted helpers like the location service or the online account service to um, to provide a, a UI experience to the user that is uh, composited together across multiple applications. So people know the content hub, for example, um, when you are in the system settings app, you can basically select your, your system background from over via the content hub from the gallery. Um, the experience as of today is not what we actually want to ship, and we are we are constantly working on improving that. And for for that, we need um, the trusted session support that we can then wire up to trusted helpers, such that they can basically say, "Okay, I've got a trusted session. This is con that consists of app A." In, the, in this case, or the example mentioned before, that would be Ubuntu system settings and uh, gallery, and I want to, to assemble them together with transitions and so on and so forth on screen. So that work is ongoing. Um, I don't think uh, so. It's 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 a significant piece of work, and I think it will will take some some more some more weeks until it is finished. Um, but if you but if people are interested in, in the status of that work, um, the data can just work on that. So just ping him on. I think you want to minus Unity or you want to minus Unity. You should be around there. Yeah, and that's pretty much it from the new side of things. All right, thanks. You mentioned uh, one of the things in the new mirror is uh, improvements for the Nexus 7. Is that the 2012 or is that the 2013? As far as I know, it's 2013, but um, I might be missing. Uh, I might be missing the latest. Could be 2012 as well. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Cool. Uh, I just wanted to give a quick update uh, from the community team side of things. We've been doing a lot of work lately on focusing on the developer portal. That's developer.ubuntu.com. Uh, we had a sprint last week where we went over the documentation that's there and where we're lacking and where we need to improve things. So we're hard at work on that. The first uh, bit of progress is that we now have uh, new API docs published for QML. So if you go to uh, developer.ubuntu.com slash apps slash QML slash API, you'll see it there. It's Ubuntu 14.04. And those were up to date um, as of last week. There's work right now going into including these in our continuous integration so that they'll be updated uh, almost on a daily basis. Whenever there's a new revision of trunk that builds successfully and passes tests, uh, it will generate new documentation and publish them to the website. So we'll have always up-to-date API docs for that. Um, and the HTML5 API docs are in the process of uh, being added to the site right now. So that'll be the, the theme, the Cordova integration, and uh, some new platform integration stuff, which is really neat. So some good stuff coming for developers there from the community team. If we have any questions. Nope, no questions. I'm hoping next week we'll have more 
updates from more people. We were all kind of uh, busy today, and the meeting snuck up on us, so we didn't have a lot of time to plan. So hopefully next week we'll have more people and more updates for you guys watching. All right, thanks, Bill. Thanks, Thomas, for coming. Thanks for uh, having everybody me. Everybody watching, be sure to follow us Thank on you YouTube. It's youtube.com slash UbuntuOnAir. Uh, we're also Ubuntu on Air on Twitter, so follow us there, and you'll see uh, announcements of all the upcoming stuff. All right, thank you, everybody. Oh, bye-bye. Bye, guys.